sometimes, every now and then, I get a wig that I just am blown away by. The wig on my head is one of those, and it was quite a surprise when I took it out of the box. This is Beaming Beauty by Gabor in the color shaded hazelnut. Right up my alley. Totally my style. I can't wait to tell you all about this brand new, heat friendly, high density style from Gabor. Let's talk about her. Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. I'm partnering with name brand Wigs on this review. They sent me Beaming Beauty so I could review her for all of you. And I had no idea that this wig even existed. So they let me know that they were sending a few wigs and I took this one out of the box. I didn't know at all what to expect. I hadn't looked it up and I've not seen anyone talking about this and I couldn't believe it. She's really darling and I'm so grateful to name brand Wigs for giving me the opportunity to share a style that I personally love. This is really right up my alley. If you've never checked out Name Brand Wigs, they are a wonderful online retailer. I do partner with them on many, many reviews. I'm so grateful to them for their support of the wig wearing community. Reviews are critical, I think, for most of us because you just can't get quite enough information from the product pages, and this helps us make some good decisions, whether to purchase a style or even to avoid a style. For example, if you don't like high density, really full wigs, Maybe this one isn't the right one for you, but if you do, I think you're gonna love this one. Let's take a look at her from all sides. I do have a coupon code as well that will save you 30% off any Gabor purchase at the Name Brand Wigs website. So there'll be a link in the description as well as that coupon code. Let's talk about this style. I mentioned high density. This is a full style. There is quite a bit of hair on this piece, but there really isn't permatease. So I'm not feeling any traditional poofy permatease on the top at all. So where this one has a lot of volume is kind of here all in here. When I, um, before I lost a lot of weight, I had a very, very, very round face and styles that had a lot of volume on the sides, I didn't feel that they, they didn't work as well for me as some others because I was already wide. Um, so do keep in mind, depending on what styles work best for you, this does have a lot of volume here, but not a lot of volume up here. It's actually relatively flat on the very top. I think if you play with it, it's gonna be okay. I don't think it looks unbalanced, but sometimes on wigs like this, there tends to be a bunch of permatease. This one just doesn't have that. So while it does have a lot of fullness, that fullness is not from permatease. Now she has a lace front. Take a look at that lace front right there. Let me feel it. Yeah, it's extended all the way down to the ear tabs. And then we have a mono, whoops, almost dropped it, mono part. So let's take a look at that. Lace front, ear tab to ear tab. So extended lace front and a mono part left going over to the right. It is pretty skinny actually. It's a really kind of skinny mono part. So you don't have a lot of flexibility on where you can part this. We've got ear tabs, hard to see with the dark cap with bendable stays, extended nape, Velcro adjusters, the rest is open wefted. I'm, I'm gonna wear this wig. I, you know, I review a lot of wigs. I'm very blessed. I have worked really hard, but I'm very blessed to have the opportunity to try a lot of styles and to review them. So, because I review a lot of wigs, not every wig is my personal style. Not every color is my personal preference. This style, though, absolutely 100% in my wheelhouse. And this color was one of my favorites early on. Now I can wear everything. And I do wear just about every color you can imagine, but this one was so perfect for me in the very beginning. My hair is naturally dark brown, so the dark brown in this one with the highlights was perfect. We'll get more to color in just a little bit, but I just wanted to tie that into the fact that I really do love this wig. It's darling, and I think a lot of people are gonna be super excited. It just don't feel like a wig like this has come out in a while. So I'm really excited for it. Now I mentioned that this is heat friendly, so these fibers definitely do not have a shine to them like regular synthetic fibers can. I personally love heat friendly fibers on links like this. 
It's not going to rub up on your clothing, so you're not going to get the friction on the ends that longer pieces do. So if you've heard that heat-friendly fibers are difficult to care for, I don't think that's true on shorter styles. If this were rubbing up on my clothing all the time, these ends would need some special attention, but because it isn't, I think this is just going to be perfect. I love heat-friendly for shorter styles. That's actually my preference over regular synthetic and over even human hair. This is going to hold its style, these curls, these waves, totally baked in. So if you wash it, it will dry just like this. So this is truly a shake and go. Put it on your head, go out the door, you won't need to do any styling to it. But if this isn't your perfect style, I have a tip for you, something I plan to do with this piece for myself because let's face it, these wigs are made, kind of made to fit the broadest range of people. I think it would be rare for a wig to come out of the box 100% perfect for you. That's why I do Tip Tuesday videos to show you how to work with your wigs. Let me tell you what I will be doing with this one. I've shown a thinning razor in many, many videos. It is my favorite and must have styling tool for a wig wearer. I plan to take this thinning razor and just cut in a few extra layers on the side over here. I feel like this side has some shorter layers, but this side doesn't have the same. So let me just show you really quickly. I don't want to do too much because I'm not in front of my normal mirror, but I just take this thinning razor and I just gently go down the fibers. I can't see as well in my phone or in my camera. And then I've got myself a little bit of the fibers and now I've created just a little bit of a layer. I love to do this with my curly wigs. I feel that curly wigs are super forgiving. You don't have to be super skilled. I would just go slow and be cautious because the hair won't grow back, but you don't have to worry about being perfect with a curly wig. And so in looking at this one, I know that I'm just gonna cut a few extra layers in it and it's gonna be then perfect for me. So don't be afraid to play with your wigs. Now let's talk about fit. Gabor is known for being a brand that runs pretty true, true to average. I think this one is running pretty true to average in the cap. I am getting extra cap up here, but it still fits me super comfortably. I have a 21 and a quarter circumference. 1.25 inches from ear to ear and 12 and a half from, front, from the hairline to the nape. And so an average cap tends to fit me a little large. I can still wear them comfortably. I just get a little bit of extra up here and I tend to have to cinch them in. This wig does have a lot of stretch. So I think this is running pretty true to Gabor average, but if you have petite measurements like I do, I think it's going to be okay. I find them still to be very, very comfortable. I usually wear a wig grip with them, and then that's all I really Before have we get to on do. to color, I love this wig. It's so fun. It's so sassy. It's definitely full, but not overwhelmingly so for me. I think I might have even been able to wear this early in my wig wearing journey because I expected curly wigs to be a little fuller. I love that it doesn't have a ton of permatease. Just some little crimpy fibers, but nothing pillowy. Like I can't feel the permatease when I do this. So I think that makes this wig a lot more accessible to others. I think you can take clips. So you could do a little twist. You can clip this off the face. If you don't like the hair hanging heavy in your face, this extended lace front is gonna allow you to style that up. And I think you could put multiple clips in. I think you could even potentially do a half up, half down with this one if you're willing to use bobby pins because it does have a lot of layers but I do think that this is gonna have a lot of styling flexibility if that's what you look for in a piece. So overall, I say bravo to Gabor. I think they did a really good job. Let's talk about color. So SS Hazelnut, the code is GF8-29SS. We've got a medium brown with soft ginger highlights, definitely auburn, and a dark brown root. So there's that root. You can see the root is a little darker than the brunette throughout. So I would call this a me I'd actually call this a medium dark brown with a lot of auburn. This is absolutely an auburn color. And those highlights are very pronounced all throughout. They're not thick stripy highlights, but they're absolutely very much blended all throughout. All throughout. So if you can do some kind of auburns and you are comfortable with medium to dark brown, I think this color would work great for you. Really good. 
All right, let's get outside so you can see this color outside. Thank you once again to Name Brand Wigs for sending me this darling. I have a mirror over here. She's so darling, you guys. I'm so thrilled about this style. Let me know if you have any questions. Let's get outside. Okay, here we are. It's pretty cloudy. So I actually think this is the best light to really see an outside color. So good, you guys. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.